So thank you very much for, 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 for coming in tonight. Um, I, I, I thought the cold is going to keep people in house, but I, I really appreciate you making the time to be here. And I thought, I thought one should start in a fun way. I want, I want to share with you my vision for UCT. But I thought to start in a fun way, um, to start by sharing with you um, crazy idea, some crazy thinking, and I thought I should start by asking each of you to think, to imagine a different University of Cape Town, UCT of 2030, and just imagine what it would look like. What would you want it to look like? What would you want it to feel like? What would you want it to smell like? You are the alumni. In 2030, whatever UCT is, it'll still be yours. You'll still be the alumni. You are the people with the brand. The brand will be with you five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years. As long as you're alive, the brand will be with you. What do you want it to look like, feel like, smell like, be like? So I thought we should start that way. I imagine that technology will play a bigger role than ever in human history. Workers on campus will be in charge of robots doing manual tasks, such as sweeping sidewalks and driving jemmy shuttles. Or maybe jemmy shuttles will be self-driven and they'll be moving around without drivers. Drones will help monitor campuses for safety and security. Students and staff will carry portable computers as small as today's credit card. And I think in the next few years, we need to reclaim the university as a space of ideas, a space where different people from different places with different ideas come together for the academic project to build it and to benefit from it. So what if every moment and every encounter on campus was not influenced by race or gender or religion or race or by the, by the excuse that we've always done it this way? What does UCT need to look like for every culture to feel at home at UCT and not for anyone to feel that they have to assimilate to the dominant culture? For people to feel free to express themselves even if it seems to go against the majority opinion or tradition. We are all here, as I said, for the academic project and nothing else. And so dedication to the academic project is perhaps what will get us there, because it's what has set UCT apart as one of the leading institutions around the world. It involves not just academics, but also the hard work of students and our professional and admin support services staff, with the input from the alumni and the alumni input to what we do in so many different ways. Some contribute to our courses, some help us raise funds, some give us a good name by the work that they do in their professional lives. My vision for the future of UCT is based on three pillars, excellence, transformation, and sustainability. Excellence has to permeate all areas of our operations. Our excellence is not sustainable without transformation. If we pursue excellence without transformation, then we will always, always be in conflict. We will be challenged, challenged. our excellence will be, will be rubbished, will be contested. In fact, we will not be able to pursue this excellence that we love, that we so need in our country and elsewhere in the world if we do not transform. We're challenging our past departments to get on with the fourth industrial revolution, to digitize our processes, to move to a virtual environment. Um, uh, and that will not end only in, in, in finance, HR, PNS, and ICTS. But of course, digitizing our processes and digitizing the work that we do goes on to teaching and learning as well. With all of us, much has happened over the past two years, exposing many of the fault lines in our university, which reflect the fault lines in our broader society. But we also see common ground where we can build a new community, respecting our differences, celebrating our diversity, and embracing our common values. In 2030, UCT won't get there without you.
the dream, the crazy dream that I talked about at the beginning of drones going between lower campus and upper campus and robots doing their things on campus, a transformed place where everyone feels included will not happen without you. And this makes for an exciting time to be at UCT and working with us because we are reimagining the institution. And as an alumni, this is your opportunity as well. We rely on you to help refine our ideas about development, and we invite you to participate through your involvement in the strategic projects that aim to push the boundaries of our thinking and our social action. But how can you help transform UCT? We need project champions, those people who help promote the causes of our development project through social media, through engagement with influential change makers, and other word of mouth communication. So if you want to be a project champion, please talk to us. It's only you as the alumni who can be project champions. You, lead, you reach places where we as academics cannot reach. We need door openers. Those people who use their influence and network to access individuals and groups who can fund our strategic projects. What I've mentioned to you today are just a few of our, of our strategic projects. But our alumni and development office can talk at length about the many strategic projects that we have that we need funding for. We need donor partnerships with alumni who contribute themselves and rally others in their social network to also contribute to the growth of our university. And that's what we need. So each one of you in this hall tonight is important for our future. And I hope you will join us. I'm happy to take questions. If